Happy Vlogmas Day 20. Today I woke up in the mood for cleaning, so I decided to go ahead and tackle my master bathroom. Here's a quick look at the cleaning supplies that I will be using. First things first, I like to pull out my Windex and go ahead and spray my mirrors so that I can clean those first. Today I decided to use paper towels to clean my mirrors, but usually I use newspapers and I do have like the little squeegee thing, but for some reason I always forget to bring that out to use and you know, clean my windows with that. Then I grabbed my spray bottle of this Clorox disinfecting cleaner and it just had a little bit of spray in there. It, just, it had just enough for me to use on my sink, which was fine. So I sprayed my sink down real good and I grabbed my sponge here and made sure that I cleaned off every area of my sink and it definitely helped that I was able to remove everything from my sink area before I stopped cleaning. There are some permanent stains that are on my sink that just won't come off no matter how hard that I scrub but for everything else I made sure that I cleaned that off very well. Once I finished cleaning my sink, I moved over to my tub. We don't really use my tub that much, but I just like to keep my tub clean just in case we want to, you know, take a soak or whatever. We all know that it's going to be clean. So yeah, I sprinkled some Comet down in the base of the tub for a little bit, let it marinate, and then I bust out my micro band spray and sprayed everything down really well and then i was like look i don't need to be using my back too much let me bring out my little scrub brush right here i love this scrub brush because you know you just turn it on and it does most of the work for you the thing about it is this thing is powerful so you got to make sure you got a good grip on that thing or else it will fly out of your hands <laughs> but it, it's really good at getting in those tough spaces and doing all the scrubbing that you don't have to once that was done i moved over to my shower and i removed my liner and also my shower curtain and the thing about me is i don't got time to be cl cleaning that shower liner so i like to just go ahead and throw that away and then pop my shower curtain in the washing machine so I took my Lysol mildew remover spray and oh my gosh, that's my favorite spray. I went ahead and I marinated my shower. Then I moved over to my toilet and I used it on my toilet as well. Just wanted to make sure I sprayed my toilet down with it really good, let it soak in, you know, and marinate while I'm over in my shower getting down and dirty, cleaning it. So I have my little cleaning brush and you know, I was getting to work and the way my shower is set up, you actually gotta like get in the shower to like get to those tough areas and stuff cause they could be really hard to reach. But again, I love that Lysol spray that I showed y'all earlier so much, the mildew remover spray because it helps a lot with those built in uh, mildew stains. And the spray also has bleach, so it's dis disinfecting everything really well. But yet, yeah, the fumes can get out of hand, so be careful with that. Once I finished cleaning my shower, I went ahead and I rinsed it off really well with my shower head before moving back over to my toilet area. And I know I be seeing some of y'all, y'all be cleaning and y'all don't be wearing gloves. Hey, I'm not here to judge y'all or nothing, but I need to put my gloves on because I don't really like to touch stuff. And then on top of that, I'm dealing with harsh chemicals and I'm not trying to have any chemical reactions or anything. Y'all know I got eczema real bad. But yeah, anyway, back to cleaning. I uh, scrubbed my toilet down really good and I even got the floor as well. I headed down to the living room and I turned on Home Alone for my boys. This was our oldest. I think he said it was his third time watching the movie. And um, Lathan, this is his first time watching it. So yeah, I was watching the movie with the boys while I tackled this pile of laundry. So we got a little system going. 
my husband he washes the clothes and he'll put them in the basket and then I try my best to go and you know help him fold the clothes most of the time we fold clothes together but on this day I wanted him to chill and relax so you know I didn't mind go ahead and folding up the clothes I think I had about maybe two or three different um, laundry baskets full of clothes to fold that day so yeah the laundry around my house it definitely gets piled up but yeah it's so funny watching movies that we grew up with as children through an adult lens <laughs> especially a classic like home alone and it's also funny seeing my own children um react and hear their thoughts about what's going on with the movie and stuff but yeah they thought that kevin was bad he was a bad kid <laughs> But yeah, whenever I can, I try to like do chores and stuff around the house with the children. You know, want to make sure I keep my eye on them as well as still still spending time with them, even though, you know, I'm doing chores and stuff like that. Hey, sorry I haven't had a chance to speak directly to the camera while I'm recording, but I've just been on like go mode trying to get the house cleaned up for the week and everything that's why i normally don't even film me like actually doing a reset and stuff because it's a lot like with me cleaning and stuff Whew, i'm almost out of breath but yeah i had to pause for a second and fix my baby some lunch the youngest he ate his leftovers from last night and then the oldest I just fixed him some um, pepperoni pizza bites. He likes those. And I'm, about to, I'm about to see what else I can um, give him for lunch and have him eat. But the boys is down in the living room having a little blast. They are watching Home Alone. I believe he told me he likes the mix fruit let me get him the mixed fruit cup and do i have some chips i think i might have a little bit of like chips or something for him to like have on the side give him a little bit of juice and that's gonna be his lunch but yeah he got like six pizza bites that's a lot he gonna eat that but he growing his appetite growing he be i hope there'll be enough to hold him over if not i'll uh, <laughs> give him something else to eat but yeah i'm gonna feed him right quick and then finish cleaning finish organizing and pulling out our stuff for the week i just did a target pickup order for some stuff that i need for this week so i'm gonna pick it up plus i'm being unappreciated in my house right now anyway so i'm being unappreciated too so. <laughs> whatever anyway where's my coat at grab my coat the boys just finished um, the first Home Alone. Now they're about to watch Home Alone too. <laughs> Lay was going in though. Uh, Kevin, how Kevin was talking to his mama when he called his mom stupid or something. He was like, "Uh-uh, he he, he he mean, he bad. I need to punch him in his head." I said, "Oh my gosh!" All right. Oh yeah, he talking about that boy. He said he uh, hate this family or something like that. Mm -hmm. No, his family sucks. Oh, his family sucks. Okay, <laughs> like uh, whispered it to me. Like, yeah, that was bad. All right, y'all. I'll be back. Love y'all. Okay, y'all, so I am back now. I was out and I started like filming a little bit and then I was like, I can't really film like how I wanna film because people watch my channel that I know in real life and I don't want them to see what I'm, you know, <coughs> purchasing and stuff, so. 
I, I um I stopped recording. I didn't get a whole lot of footage. I may include the little bit that I did get. Sorry, y'all. I got the camera light everywhere. But anyway, I have done the most.com <laughs> today. Uh, push my body to its limits. Um, from like me doing a whole bunch of cleaning and reaching and all this and that. And then for me like being out and about in stores carrying like large items like holding large items and standing for a long period of time and long lines and just all of that and then coming home and wrapping all these gifts and stuff like that i didn't show me wrapping the gifts but um my back started hurting me like really bad and i just had to like lay down for a second and so I was um, telling hubby, I was like, you got to help me, like, figure out what we're going to do for dinner. Like, I really want him to be like, don't worry about it, baby. I'll fix something. But then how it went. So, because um, at first I was going to finish thawing out these chicken drumsticks and, like, cook them up or whatever. But I can't do it. So, he suggested that we just um, eat a frozen pizza that we had picked up from the grocery store. Which, you know, it'll work out all good. I need to get it out of my freezer anyway because it's taking up too much space. And the box getting beat up. It's getting knocked all around and down up in my freezer. But yeah, I'm trying to look for my pizza pan. Got my brand new pizza pan. I'm going to line this bad boy up. Put the pizza on there. Y'all, don't be like me. Listen to your body and slow down when you need to because you don't want to end up injuring yourself. Badly. But yeah, I'm still um I'm still waiting on my report. From when I got my um my x rays on my back. I'm still waiting on the results of that. Um I saw the images and you know how like you see things and then you like start trying to like diagnose yourself or be like oh I see XYZ that's what I was doing but I haven't like received the official word back from the doctor like if anything is wrong or whatever so I have to wait Yeah, y'all. My oven has like never stopped really smelling smoky and stuff since um, the incident when I tried to bake the cookies and I had realized that you know some oil or something had dripped down. And I don't understand what is going on. Okay. But yeah, so I'm gonna cook the last two mozzarella sticks too with the pizza for my baby because he like mozzarella sticks. <laughs> and I'm gonna add some pepperoni on here because my baby like pepperoni. And then we're gonna head upstairs and I need to pull out my son's clothes for the week because if I don't find nobody else's clothes as far as mine then I mean it is what it is I could dress myself figure out what I need to wear day by day but as far as late and I try to make sure I have his outfits pretty much planned out Let y'all see what it look like before I put it in there. So, yeah. Okay. Okay. That's the first time I ever used that pizza pan, so.
I don't know about y'all, but I don't like to um, reuse shower liners. Like when I'm cleaning the shower and stuff, I throw away the old liner and buy me a brand new liner. Move it here. Put that in here. And then I gotta restock this bathroom with some tissue. to light my candle after I finished cleaning the bathroom. I love this candle. My hand all shaking. <laughs> Lathan asked for some cocoa so I'm making him some cocoa in his little mason jar. Of course, I'm gonna let it cool off before I actually give it to him. But yeah, if he eats his dinner, this is gonna be his little after meal treat. I'm gonna stir it up, put the little top on it. It's one of those lids that you put a straw in. And yeah, what's wrong, buddy? You bit yourself? All right, y'all. Now I'm about to try to get these little gift bags together for Lathan's class. I'm um. Doing like little treat bags for Christmas for them with items that I got from Dollar Tree. Sorry if I'm competing with the TV and my family. But yeah, so I got some lollipops. I got these chocolate chip cookies. You cannot have these right now. I'm going to put these in like treat bags for your, you and your friends, okay? And then they have these whack a pack balloons. Of course, that's like, balloons, yeah. <laughs> and what are these? Those are lollipops. Lollipops. I love lollipops. I know you do. And then I got some pencils, some I love Christmas pencils. pencils. I love those little pencils. And then these are the treat bags here. I love Tree bag. A little snowman and a penguin and a Christmas tree with the Christmas lights. And it's got it, snow coming down. Yeah, and a giant monster snowman. Mm-hmm. And some more balloons, some more lollipops. And then Daddy, this is his little candy that he got. Yay! Put this in Daddy's stocking. Okay, come on Santa Claus. This is daddy's stocking. Put it in there. <laughs> Great job, buddy. <laughs> daddy, it's time to wake up. I put your candy in your stocking. <laughs> hey. Hey. <laughs> mm, I love you. Mommy about to try to fill up these little treat bags for your, uh, you and your friends. Y'all think y'all like these? Yeah, I think they're gonna like them. Okay, great. All right, well. Yeah, we're gonna put them in there.
babe helped me with the rest of the gift bag so thankful for him but yeah that's how it's looking it's looking all festive oh i cannot wait to drop this off to his school and you know have them give them to his little friends but yeah guys it's a lot of noise in the background because hubby is currently running Lathan's bath but look i don't think i ever showed y'all my baby um when we were out of town we came back and uh, my baby had made this with our family oh look <laughs> he had a great time he didn't want to come home but yeah i'm gonna go ahead and clean the table off and i'm gonna put this gingerbread house i'm gonna put it back on the table and keep it on display for a little bit longer then I got to clean the floor and I think I'll be done with my chores for today and I'll be all set for tomorrow. Yeah, because we about to shut the house down. I cannot wait to get in the shower and yeah, run that hot water on my sore muscles. <laughs> yeah, I know a shower is definitely something that's going to help make me feel a little bit better I might have to get some like muscle relaxers or something I don't know because yeah I did did a little too much but I'm so happy that I got stuff accomplished today so a win it's a win That is a wrap for today's video um i'm trying to keep it together <laughs> yeah Ugh. i like really don't try to like get into like heavy stuff on my channel and like you know i'll briefly like hint or say stuff you know saying that like i'm just you know struggling emotionally or whatever but um I just found out some news on social media about um, a tragedy in a family that um, I used to be connected to from back home. And I just, it, it really hit me hard and I'm like trying to grasp my mind about around it and you know, I know they say God don't make mistakes. And, but it's just like, how much can one family like bear as far as tragedies and stuff? And um, I don't want to delve too far into it because um, I'm not as close with the family as I used to be years ago. Um, when I was a young child, but I have shared a, a photo of me and the family. I think, I believe it was last year, some, some people that I grew up with. And I mentioned that I lost one of my friends. Um, she was hit by a stray bullet and I missed her. Um, she was hit by a stray bullet and we lost her and it, it hit me because we were never able to like reconnect once we got older and once we got older that's when it happened and I was like dang I was we was just but I was just about to like try to reach back out to her and you know because I had moved away and it was just but another tragedy has hit that family and it really has caught me off guard and it like threw, threw off my whole balance and stuff so I didn't, didn't want to just in the video and pretend that I'm happy and be like bye like no I'm really like grappling with stuff right now and I just I, I and I also feel like how dare I you know feel any type of feelings it's not like I was really close or kept in touch with the family and you know now they're 
dealing with this and you know but it's still my heart goes out to them and still like praying for them in the recent tragedy that they are experiencing and it just got me like questioning God and I think a lot of us had moments where we like come on now God now hold up now hold up you know what I'm saying and that's that's how I'm feeling right now at this moment and I'm not gonna try to get to emotional or religious or anything but um I did want to let y'all know that my mind is elsewhere right now and that this is a tough time for a lot of people I know I try to make it light and I try to embrace the season and celebrate my son having a blast in the um, tub but celebrate and have fun with my family during this time of year because you know I want us to make special memories associated with Christmas and I know how I had special memories with my family as well when I was a child and my husband as well and we, we're, we're trying to you know do that too but it, it's still a tough time <laughs> You know what I'm saying? It's a tough time for me. It's a tough time for uh, a lot of folk out there. So try to be kind to one another because you never know what somebody is going through. You never know what somebody is smiling through. Never know what's... You just never know. And, you know, just... If you believe in prayer, just pray, pray for people. I've been finding myself praying a lot lately. <laughs> you know a, a lot of that and, um, I used to be one of those ones where I would like comment on people's statuses I'd be like praying for you you know knowing they go through a hard time like say comment praying for you and I, I'm no shame in my mind I'm not gonna lie and then I just go on about my day you know but no when I be commenting on people's stuff and I'm saying I'm praying for you I prayed I really did because life be life and then it's a lot right now um the you guys again thank you so much for watching today's vlogmas video i'll see you guys in the next video bye